Hello and thanks for watching Guitar 101 Rammstein. In this video I want to do a quick review on a product I've been using for a while now called made by GHS called uh, Fast Fret. Comes in this little can. Costs usually it's under about under the ten dollar mark. You can look around and find it a little cheaper if you look. Um, comes in a can normally with a cleaning cloth which I always lose. I just lost the last one at a concert over the weekend I was at. Um, doesn't matter, just a clean rag will do the trick as well. Really, really easy to use. Uh, you just take the cap off and run it up and down the strings. First, before I put it on, these strings are getting old. So, they're starting to sound kind of dead. This doesn't totally revive them, but it helps... It, it does help clean them and it um, increases the string life I found. So yeah, you just take the applicator and run it up and down the strings. It also works as a string lubricant. So it makes your strings a little bit more slippery. Not too much though. I've tried other products. I think it was like uh, Finger Ease where it was, it was too much. It works like a roll-on deodorant when I tried it. And it made them like really slick. I didn't care for it. This just kind of it loosens that gets the grit off the strings and it just your strings are smoother um, after you apply it get some money again because I was just playing on it you can sometimes I don't even bother with this step I'll throw it on and start playing uh, but ideally ideally after you apply it you just take a clean cloth or the cloth that came with it if you don't lose it like me and I'll, I'll pinch the string actually so I'm kind of getting all the way around the string Run it up and down each string. And you're set. So I don't know if you're going to hear the difference on this video. Also, these strings are a bit old. I can definitely hear a small difference, though. They are brighter. So it does help. I mean, normally I'll put it on before playing, and I try to. The, um, doesn't always. It's not always the case after I'm done playing. I'll throw it on real quick as well to just help keep them clean. Um, I'm not endorsed by GHS or any string brand, which is unfortunate. Uh, all the endorsements I have or could get, that would be my number one pick, would be a string brand. So any string companies out there watching this, get in touch. But yeah, um, really simple solution. Just keep it in the bag and, you know, it's it's very helpful. I use it on guitar, I use it on bass, I use it on my exotic instruments like um, s Raj and stuff. Those, I really love it because you're having to slide a lot and it helps for the sliding. For bass, um, you know, if you're playing with your fingers, you do get blisters. It gets sore if you're not used to it. And that kind of makes it a little easier, just that lubrication on the string. To, uh, makes it a little bit easier on the fingers, I found. Um, but yeah, that's it for this one. Uh, next video I'm going to do is actually going into bass strings, where it's going to show this, but also some other tricks of how to prolong the life of your strings, because bass strings are expensive, and uh, some tricks to clean them, and some alternatives for what you can get for good prices. That's it on this one. I'll be doing some more review videos in the near future. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified of my new videos since I will be doing quite a few in the near future. That's it for now.